The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel to the new video XRP right now and it's kind of underperforming only 5.58% in green. What's happening guys? What's happening? A lot of stuff is like double digits 10, 15, 20, 25% and then you got XRP 5% up. Isn't this supposed to pump uh, just as well as a Dutch, uh, Dutch coin? Eh. Depends. It looks nice uh, either way. I'm gonna show you but before we start I want to um, show you these very nice lines. Uh, we had a very nice uh, live stream yesterday, so uh, we did also XRP, some tech analysis there. And then uh, we found these very nice channel lines that I'm going to talk, uh, talk a little bit about. But before that, uh, check out the links down below. Uh, there is a Telegram link if you want to join the Telegram group. Nice community, nice people talking about all the, all the shebang. Uh, then we got a Patreon link, very nice uh, thing if you need some help with picking altcoins. Uh, we also got the subscribe button below the video. There is also like button. Uh, you can also chat in the the comments if you want you can reply to other people's comments there is all kind of stuff happening down there it's like a party below the video so check that out check that out that's it let's get on the charts to see what's what's actually happening with xrp ah so nice okay so yesterday we were, were looking at uh, if we could find some kind of patterns here what's what's happening then we find these uh these channels now the channels are not that um, um they are not that uh, rare. I mean, uh, they happen, I, I think, on all, all the altcoins. Uh, yeah, the trick is only finding them, but once you find them, it, it, they look quite nice. They look quite nice. So basically, you can see clearly here that uh, once we start going up, we are all the way up to the top over here. Then we retrace back to this channel up here. Try to break this channel. Could not went back support the up uh, upper channel. Went below all the channels. Used the channel as a resistance. Broke it. Tried to get all the way up to couldn't. Got resisted, could not break it, broke it, went up to the second line, second uh, top of channel, went below the channel, used the channel as a resistance all the way. Once this was broken, we pumped all the way to the midline, then we pumped, tried to pump all the way, nothing, it could not actually get all the way there, but we retraced all the way back to this channel over here, uh, this uh, top line over here, then we climbed above in, inside the next channel, then hit the resistance there, then and now we are back down again. So you can see clearly that uh, there are some, uh, some important. Uh, lines sitting right over here uh, especially this one over here right now the lines we are actually most uh, the most important us are these over here and uh, this one top here because that's actually the target that's the target i don't know if you can see it but that's actually the target because once we start going up uh, up here and break this uh, this line of resistance that's sitting at what number is it is sitting at this sitting around 1.84 but once you break that the target should be somewhere around 2.5 or something like that which is pretty high which pretty high. depends on when we get to that target uh 2.61 or something like that we also have this uh, previous target up here 2.7 i'm going to show you i think that's uh, is this on the daily chart yeah that's that's daily let's see if there's on the weekly chart yeah, it is the weekly. That's that's very important resistance up here. We can put it there. We we used to have that, but we removed it because we were making this channel yesterday. Uh, and you can see that clearly this 2.6 line. So once we break that, this is where the channel hits the line around 24th May. So maybe maybe in 20 days we're gonna hit the 2.7. Maybe maybe I'm not saying we wanna be, do that, but maybe like it, 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 it's hit it, it is hitting a very nice resistance up here so maybe when it started going up uh, we're gonna hit it i mean eventually we're gonna hit everything on the, on the way up but you know maybe this is a this is an important uh, point to look at that's it let's pop some moving averages uh, clean these uh, no, let, let, let's leave the lines uh, alone and see what's actually happened yesterday so yesterday we had a big dump, uh, everything dumped, including uh, XRP. Now XRP managed actually to do quite nice. It dumped all, all only down to the our channel resist uh, support line down here, and it actually uh, managed to almost get uh, back above the 10, 20 moving average. That's the red line, and you can see here that today it started above it, but now it's getting resisted by the 10 moving average. So the best case scenario is getting uh, closing above this 1.47 line up here. Uh, best case scenario because that will put us above all the moving averages and that's very good uh, for uh, for the uptrend. Uh, that said, closing up, uh, below it doesn't have to mean a, a mean a mean a lot because this uh, 20 moving we are still above the 20 moving average and this is 10 moving average. so we can uh, close anywhere here and be still bullish because we are above the the 20 moving average. 
that technically can uh, can help us. So even if we close over here today, tomorrow we might actually just continue going up, 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 and so forth and so forth. But uh, assuming that Bitcoin is done dumping, of course, uh, we, which we are not actually sure of today because uh, it's not yet hit some kind of important resistance. We don't have any important closes. So we said like when Bitcoin closes above 57,000, maybe on the four hourly, preferably on the daily chart, uh, that's when we can and that's when you can say that entire altcoin market is also very healthy and uh, in the in the uh, strong option as well so we are waiting for bitcoin 57000 right now we are bitcoin sitting at 552 so it is it is crawling upwards but it is slow so we're gonna see what's actually gonna happen uh, that said xrp is looking healthy as ever there is no problem with the technicals or anything like that uh, this bearish cross is still going on uh, we just got bearish cross on daily it's not optimal but it's fine it's fine it's not optimal it's but it's fine uh, this weekly rsi divergence might actually come into play but what but we are not there yet because uh, this scandal is not finished if we can uh, continue upwards and close about 156 in what's that in four or five days or something like that there will be no rsi divergence and if there is no rsi divergence that means that uh, we can just continue going up upwards right so all and then the on the technicals all and then the on the uh, lines now you know where some kind of targets are at least uh that is uh, here so first target uh, today should be a 181 but this is a very important line of resistance up here this is very important where is it this is very important line, uh, line of resistance and this is the target line actually when we break eventually break it so once we start going up we want to look for how we're going to break these uh, channels when we are going to break them and stuff like that we also had one line here at 140 uh was that 141 this is a 140 maybe it was up here uh, give or take some, something like this it was 141 actually but let's say it's 140 now unfortunately we did break that we broke that here yesterday and i said we don't want to break that we did break it here this red candle we broke the 140 line now uh, the good thing is that today we are getting back the uh, the support uh, this if this uh, holds it will mean invalidation of the breakout which is actually quite positive and quite bullish for us all in all uh, we are not technically that bad I mean, I've seen coins that uh, went like all the way down, like to the 50 moving average on the daily and uh, uh, XRP is not even close to that. So it looks good. Like we are in the no man's land right now, but we have at least these uh, channel supports that we can actually count on. So if we start breaking the channel support, we, we are looking at 0 0.97. Now you can, of course, hope for that because, you know, buying cheap coins and stuff like that. But, you know, it looks fine. It looks fine. Technically, it looks fine. Uh, a little bit unsure what's going to happen during the day. Uh, let's see these uh, moving averages on the four hourly time frame. You can see here we got support on this uh, on this blue line. That's the 100 moving average. Right now, we're trying to climb the above, above, above moving averages. So to be in some kind of option, you have to get above all the moving averages on the four hourly time frame. That means being above 10, 20, 50, 100 and 200 moving average. Before that, you 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 kind of are just climbing. You, you're not in an option. So we want to get above 151 at least, and then uh, we're gonna continue upwards. That's it. Subscribe to the channel and check out the links below. There are a lot of links. There is Telegram link. There is a Patreon link. There is subscribe button, link like button, dislike button. There is also comment section, and you can uh, write down your comments and stuff like that. A lot of things happening down there, guys. A lot of links. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye bye.